Hey guys, today we are talking about how to dilute properly the essential oils um, with carrier oils, the proper carrier oils for the different chakra rollers. Um, so I just have purchased these chakra rollers with the coordinating crystals inside. Um, and I've already done the crown chakra as well as the third eye. So, and then of course we have all these different chips as well. So you can buy these, um, these chips and put them in the rollers yourself. Okay. Um, however you like. So you can create all your own different blends, that kind of thing. Now for myself, I recommend it's much easier than getting all the different essential oils for the different chakras. But I myself, um, I purchase a trusted brand of blend so these ones here are already blended so the crown chakra you know this one here has lavender and jasmine this one has a little bit of jojoba in it as well so it's a carrier oil um, so you just want to uh, have your crystals within the roller itself and then you're gonna want to pop the lids off these guys here you want to pop those off carefully without damaging the the plastic insert. Um, now myself, I do like to use grapeseed, but you can use any type of carrier oil. There's different types. Coconut works as well. So in here I've placed in probably about, I'd say, depending on the, the oil blend you have. If you have a, an oil blend that doesn't have a carrier oil in it already, then you're gonna want to, you know, be careful on the, on the strength of it. So test the blend that you buy for strength. And if it's really strong, then I would put in half, at least half carrier oil into the roller itself. So this is grapeseed oil that I'm working with. So we're just gonna go ahead and do that now. So we place in, place some of that guy in there, let that settle. Yeah, it's messy work, but that's okay, it's worth it. It's easy to clean up after. All right, <clears throat> so I'll wait until those all settle. This one's looking pretty good. Sorry for the lighting. This one looks like it needs some more. There we go. Anyways, this one's ready to go. So what we do is we just take our blend with the proper uh, coordinating crystal roller and then I just want to place it upside down like this. And just kind of watch it, watch it start dripping in there. And then once it's at the top, I'll just pull that off and pop the roller back on and mix it around. Shake it up a bit. So my recommendation, it's just the easiest way of doing it is buy the blends that are already created um, and then just add them to your rollers. I mean, you can do it individually if you are so inspired, but I personally don't want to go that route. It seems like I don't need a whole entire collection of all the individual oils. I just want them for my chakra rollers themselves. So, so that's how I'm doing mine. Um, but I love these because you can place these on anytime you're doing work. Uh, chakra work or Reiki, anything like that. I'm going to place my heart one in there now. So, 
yeah, the throat chakra is already almost done. This one here is uh, balancing and nurturing its geranium, peppermint, and jojoba. The throat chakra, or sorry, um, yeah, the throat chakra. I think that one's just about done there. Yeah, I think that's done. The heart, the heart one. We have uh, a eucalyptus, cedarwood, pine, and jojoba. Um, and of course, the carrier oil I've chosen to use was the grape seed. So yeah, that's kind of what it looks like there. It's just I just you just have to sit and watch it for a few minutes. Um, and you can test the strength of them. Getting the combination just right is a little bit tricky. So you have to play around with it a bit. Um, we have our solar plexus chakra. This one here has rosemary and grapefruit. So we're going to go ahead and add that guy. The heart one's just about done. So yeah, so that's what I recommend. You just place in your carrier oil um, and then you place in the blends uh, with the roller chips. And then you can always just refill it, right? Like this, this one bottle here will probably last me a very long time. So that one's done. I do believe that one is done. Um, so there you go, and then you just pop in the crystal roller in the top. This one here has a sodalite uh, roller bead in the top as well, which is kind of nice. There we go. Our solar plexus is done. This one here has tiger's eye. Beautiful. I love it. So I just rub a little tiny bit in that area on myself when I'm doing Reiki, when I'm doing remote healing as well. So that's what it looks like when you first pop the, the tops in. And then um, once you get your lid on, you can give it a little bit of a shake up. Um, so we covered the heart chakra with cedarwood and pine and eucalyptus. Uh, solar plexus, we had rosemary and grapefruit. The sacral chakra is orange, lemongrass, and neroli. So we're going to go ahead and do that one now. I think this root chakra and... I'm thinking that I may need a little bit more carrier oil. There we go. Let's put a little bit more in there. There we go. And then then the, the root chakra blend that I have is Yang Lang and uh, Virvet and Cinnamon. So that one is great for grounding. So we're just going to place that one up. Fun stuff. Fun, fun, fun. But I'm so excited because I'm like, I've been wanting to do this for a while. I mean, it's definitely not cheap to um, to get all the supplies and everything to do your own blends, but, um, you know, slowly but surely, I've just been kind of gathering my stuff together, and finally, I have everything I need, and I'm so excited. Um, the sacral chakra roller is just about done. I don't want to overflow it. There we go. Perfect. So, and then these guys here have carnelian roller in there as well. It's kind of nice. There we go.
And then you just give it a gentle shake. Trying to mix it up a bit. But yeah, it's safe for your skin. And carrier oils, you can't just add carrier oils, to, or sorry, yeah, essential oils to like water or anything because it won't blend properly. So anytime you're using any kind of essential oils in your creams or whatnot, you definitely want to be adding them to carrier oil first. And this is red jasper in here. So that's the crystal you want to use for your root chakra. Ooh, that's a beautiful smell. I wish you guys could smell these. They're just, oh, divine. Divine, divine. So there you have it. I hope this was an enjoyable little video. I will add it to my YouTube, just like I add all my other little concoctions. I took the easy route by just buying a blend. It's easier, it's quicker, it's yeah it's already made up for you so just make sure you're using a trusted brand and you know there's so many different types of qualities of essential oil um so that's really the key you want to have you want to make sure that you're using quality oils um essential oils do have an expiry date um they can go rancid so you just want to be careful with that so there you have it And then you just roll it onto your your body where you're where you're needing it. I'm gonna go ahead and tidy up now. I just wanted to share my fun little tutorial with you today, and I'm sending you all love and light. Thank you for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe if you're on my YouTube. Um, let me know how you like the video. Bye for now.